Okay, we're live. This is Ron Harris. Coverage of the 2021 Arnold Classic brought to you by High Tech Pharmaceuticals. Here with Milos, the mind, Sarshev. We're going to run the show. It's happening tomorrow. We're going to be talking about the open, open bodybuilding and classic physique. Uh, first of all, Milos, we're all bummed that William Bonac is not here. I hate to start off with the guy who's not competing, but that was my favorite. But does this really open up the show for somebody else to somebody else to win? Obviously? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Bonac was uh, hands on favorite, two time champion, defending champion, one second uh, here at Baron Classic, second at Olympia. Uh, had everything going for him. I'm shocked that he's not here. Maybe we talked about it uh, recently. If there was a miscalculation in days that we need to spend, you know, in Dubai, Abu Dhabi doesn't matter. It cost him you know, probably a title of 30000 dollars and momentum for the Olympia. Well, uh, you know, I said in predictions, uh, I was just asking who will be, and uh, I said Bonyak is very hard to beat. But then I look at the lineup and I say, like, let's let's go one guy by one. Akeem Williams being top six uh, at the Olympia. He's the first favorite coming in uh, here now because he's higher uh, ranking, uh, you know, the, the pro that is from the uh, previous Olympia. He has all the muscle mass, he has a freaky body parts, freaky arms, freaky, freaky legs, kind of biceps is out of this world. If his conditioning is on and uh, he's back uh, in the full of he would be super hard to beat. But we don't know which uh, team events is going to show up. So for me, uh, right now, before seeing their condition, I think Akeem uh, you know, is possibly my firm favorite. Uh, seventh place finisher at uh, uh, Olympia, the end of the year, and especially coming with the two uh, back to back victories. And when you actually analyze it's three back to back victories before, before the Olympia, he won uh, uh, New York. That was his last show. Right. So it's uh, three times he competed in show other than Olympia, he was a uh, winner. So uh, he has a momentum, he has a physique, he has a condition. And uh, I think he's going to be improved in his uh, Texas showing, which, which he looked tremendous right there. Uh, so he's uh, obviously one of the favorites. And uh, uh, rumor is going around that uh, you know, the, the genetic wonder, uh, Sergio Oliva, yes. getting a genes that we're one of the best bodybuilders of all time, Sergio Oliva Sr. It's in top condition, top shape, improved, bigger than, than normal. So if this is the case, yeah, he would be you know, in, in running. But the guy that beat him also, and the guy that is um, uh, also one of the favorites is Steve Buklo, very popular bodybuilder. He plays uh, close second to uh, Jan Valier in uh, Texas. He could go either way. I think that Steve just didn't bring the condition and that uh, Ian beat him in condition because he was 285, 30 pounds heavier. And you couldn't really see this on stage because granite, dry condition makes you look bigger. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just uh, talked to Steve earlier today with Victor Martinez, one of my favorite bodybuilders. He says he's like five, six pounds lighter in very good condition. He knows that only top spot uh, takes him to the Olympia. So he's putting all the you know eggs in this one basket for the uh, for the Arnold Classic and, and winning this. Uh, as you know, uh, very popular in the social media, Nick Walker, a youngster, mm -hmm. That I, I see his pro debut uh, in Chicago last year. He impressed me. He was good. He plays fourth. Uh, for me, he didn't have that aesthetic. You know, of course, muscle mass, you know, conditioning. Yes, he brought it. Especially at the New York this year, he won. He improved on his conditioning, and he is a freaky bodybuilder that, that uh, has uh, arms you can just uh, you know pray for. Uh, but for me, bodybuilding is not just Pretty massive. He is massive and really conditioned. Immediately, uh, people put him as a friend. Oh, for me, that's not the case. For me, shape, aesthetics, balance, you know, comes before muscle mass. So I think that some of the guys you know, they will have that crazy V taper X frame and uh, shapely, cartoonish, like superhero muscles. I know that the uh, different things just passed by with the superhero uh, t shirt. You know, I was saying this uh, you know, the other day. When you look at uh, Superman or a Hulk, who do you choose? Superman. <laughs> Superman, <laughs> yes. But then again, uh, mass monsters, you know, the, the, the people that follow this, so this is bigger the better, uh, would possibly have him as a favorite. It's not that uh, he is not uh, balanced and he's not uh, uh, you know, beautiful to look at, but he still doesn't have that aesthetic mark like some of the other guys. Mm -hmm. 
who we are not like uh, uh, Max Charles. Yeah. Max Charles has this, uh, you know, everybody with his uh, favorite look, white shoulders, full round chest and, and shoulders and big arms, small waist, you know, great abs. You know, he was marked down many times before for his legs. He improved his legs. Uh, I think he was very, very competitive in any other show last year besides Pichai Juk, the Miss Olympian. Slightly off, but every other show that uh, you take uh, Max Charles's conditioning and physique from, uh, I think that many people would be very, very impressed. Uh, who am I forgetting now? Uh, the Kiko, Ian, uh, some other guys in the show. We got Mohammed Al Alam. Yeah, Mohammed Al Alam, I'm, I'm uh, blessed to start training with him, and uh, I prepared him only for four weeks. Unfortunately, he was flying back and forth, he went back to. Uh, Russia got sick <laughs> because it was too cold. And, you know, he missed some workouts, but he's uh, tremendous by the very good uh, condition and shape. Of course, he knows that uh, coming here with this kind of lineup is going to be tough to make the mark. But as you and I talked, this is uh, going to be a 10 man show, and uh, more than likely everybody's going to be compared. Oh, yeah, the, the big name that I forgot to mention uh, Justin Rodriguez. Justin Rodriguez. Uh, yeah, Justin Rodriguez. Uh, won the show this year. He was second to Nika in New York. Uh, he was very close second to Akeem Williams in uh, last year in Chicago. And uh, watching on social media, I see him, you know, quite improved in muscle mass department. He has crazy frontal biceps, middle biceps, reminiscent to Victor McKinnon's very exercise diet, very similar. And uh, if he brings a condition, I mean, how can you deny that? So. Um, I know that uh, you have your favorites. I mean, Steve Blackman has seen his favorites. We all do, yeah. you know, uh, uh, being analyzers for many years, but this show is gonna be, uh, you know, pick them, you know, like, it's gonna be many comparisons. And then what I've seen in Texas, you, you were not there. When I've seen top three being compared first time, I made my judgment. But then second time they were compared in some poses that if I sealed the envelope and I put it away, now I, I would have to, you know, actually erase it. But Phil Clifford and, uh, Young of the year in a better of I suppose. In the first round, I would give it to uh, Phil. Second time around, um, yeah. Ian, Ian yeah. opened up the, the yeah, back and lats and uh, showing the illustrations and everything else. So I can see that the judges doing the same thing if they're looking and say, God damn, it's not what I've seen the first time. Or if you completely forget to, to flex your quads. And uh, it's a front double biceps, front less spread, front relax pose, you know, abdominals and thighs. And if you don't have them ready, and I do, all of a sudden, from uh, uh, opportunity for you to beat me, I'm not probably beating you in the judging scores because they saw something that it's not what you have, it's what you show. So each and every pose, and that's what uh, a lot of uh, fans do, they see the picture. And when they see the picture in comparison, okay, if somebody didn't flex the legs, you know, it's a half of the body, it's too much. And uh, this is what I was uh, telling to Ian I mean, respectfully, I can see judging of the, uh, the show uh, in Tampa. I see you. And I was saying this, you know, you know to make him better, you didn't place your legs. And if you're a person, a really good person, if you look at the pictures, uh, you will see exactly what I'm saying. Hmm. So you, you leave the room to be beaten. And that, that was the thing for uh, Max Charles before. He would not flex uh, legs correctly, and uh, yeah, he would lose the whole pose, maybe just because of that. Well, let's move on to Classic Physique. Mm -hmm. uh, another great, great show. It's almost the same lineup as the Olympia. It's only missing Chris Bumstead and Rion, I think. We have almost everybody else. Um, so let's start with last year's champion, Alex Cambronero. Coming back, he is a defending champion. He was fourth place at the Olympia. But we also have Terrence Ruffin, who was second place in Olympia. He was second to, to uh, Alex last year. So those two will probably have to be the top ranked favorites to win. Yes, in the paper for sure. I mean, uh, uh, last year, Alex narrowed the beat to Terrence. He was very, very close. And then Terrence went to the Olympia. And surprisingly, he beat Brian and got to second place. Uh, so they are front runners, of course, with uh, Brian Jones, that uh, uh, everybody you know, have to respect that size, that shape, the conditioning, uh, some tricky body parts. Uh, but I, I would say this, uh, we had that interview before, uh, 2019, when uh, Chris Council beat uh, Rion and uh, Chris Peterson. 
and I was under the impression that no, 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 they, they are still out muscled him, out conditioning him, he didn't have a back, he didn't have an arms, and I, I said, you know, that interview is still bodybuilding show. Right. But then uh, I did realize that, okay, actually, judges are looking for a structure, and it's not really that, uh, let's say, classic bodybuilding look of Surgeon Gray, for example, back in the day, it's drama, it's more uh, in between, you know, physique and the bodybuilding, and uh, that's how uh, Chris Bunsen emerged as the poster child, and the perfect example, paragon of what they want for a classic physique. So for me, closest physique to Chris Bunsen is Logan Franklin. Logan is as classic as they come. Now, he uh, lost by one point to Robert Kim's at the, uh, the Texas show, he, he went out there. And, yeah, Robert is unbelievable. Uh, upper body is possibly top six Mr. Olympia Open. You know, this is, this is, but is this what you're looking at? This is what you're looking for. I mentioned just an you know, obvious example, for example, in, in the female categories, if you have a incredible uh, figure champion, okay? Yeah. Imagine going to the bikini competition. Now, she's in the wrong category. Phenomenal physique, great shape, everything is there, beautiful. Yeah, but it's the wrong category. So, I would want to ask you here you know, in front of camera, you know, what is classic? You know, so when do you define how much muscle is okay, just right in a stretch, and how much is now too much? Because with the more muscle mass, you're looking more like a bodybuilder, and you can go to 212 category, and that's why we had George Peterson going to 212, and, uh, and uh, uh, Keon, and uh, they are saying that Brion should go there as well, right? Because it out muscling the classic physique category. So this is the fine line that I would like to see what judges do. All these guys are classic looking, but now they're having this a few times. Is this too much or is it just right? I mean, that's the issue with Brian Jones, Lord Jones. Yeah. He's put on so much size. I don't even know how he's going to make weight. He will, I'm sure. Yeah. But I look at that and I think it's a, an amazing physique. I love that guy's physique. It's superb. But it's, it's too, to me, it's too big for the parameters what classic. If you're going to be that big, why aren't you just into bodybuilding? But he makes the weight. He's got the small joints, so he doesn't... He would weigh, you know, 250 pounds if he had bigger joints. Yes, yes. So what do you do? What do you do with somebody like that? Do you have them in first place? Do you put them near last place? I don't know. You see, you're making a strong point here now. Uh, I love this physique. Oh yeah. my God. This yeah. is a, Jesus. Small waist, round chest, uh, shoulders, arms, uh, everything is there, yes. But then, how on earth he makes a... Uh, you know, height to weight ratio, I don't know, but it's like probably a uh, light bonus and uh, he just makes it. But just by making it, does it make you classic just because you can make the weight? Uh, and then we bring this, I'm going to tell you, in 1993 Olympia. You know, so there was a direction of judges that need to take during eights of Flex Wheeler Sean Ray that was second and third. So here we have a beautiful physique, aesthetic, everybody wants that, that's the second two. Uh, superheroes, and here is a monster, you know, Hulk against the Superman and Batman, and they chose uh, uh, Hulk, and then for the next 10 years, this is the trend that they have. And everybody tried to get huge. Huge. Bigger the better, you, you bigger the better. Ah, me too. I mean, listen, if you don't place anywhere, you know, the, the, you just have to follow the trend, you get uh, bigger, so that's what I did, and I didn't like it. I really didn't like it, I think uh, I hated my physique in 1999 when I was placing. Yeah, it was not me. You know, my stomach is uh, not, not as slim and uh, it's just quality is not there. So, let's bring this classic physique question for tomorrow. If you award in something like a uh, brand, right? Yeah. Which, again, yeah, it could be a good choice if this is the trend that you want. But then you're going to have, again, bodybuilders, you know, taking over uh, classic physique. Right? And uh, Chris Bamstead, as the Olympia champion, doesn't have that kind of physique. So, if you just... Uh, uh, Chris Bunsen is super uh, classic aesthetic and, uh, and uh, classic. Brian Jones can outmuscle him. By outmuscling the champion, you, you supposed to win? Are you not changing the criteria and rules? So, this is obvious, you guys know I'm, I'm uh, known to have my opinion and I'm not afraid to express it. So, for Brian, I love his music, absolutely. Can he win the contest? Very, very passively if he just impresses the people, impresses the judges. Like Dorian, 
impress the judges in 93 Olympia. They didn't know what to do. It's so much mass, so much width, so much thickness, and so much... Sorry, we're going to say hi to uh, Hassan Safa? Yeah. Yeah, hello. Yeah, so Hassan, good to see you. One of the favorite too. We forgot yes. to talk about it. Right. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 She's been to more pro shows than most people. Yes. Yeah, it's probably like her eighth one or so. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Already? Uh, we forgot to talk about something. Uh, See, I was thinking who else is there. Hassan Mustafa, we forgot. I completely, <laughs> I completely. Let's talk about him for a couple seconds anyway. I completely uh, ignore the 250, 80. He's like 280 right now. 280 pounds. Huge. Uh, I mean, Hassan Mustafa. We started in uh, New York last year, being Kansas. Uh, but ever since then, he didn't really get in uh, the condition. So if he does get in condition, then he's going to be uh, you know, dangerous as well. Very possibly, you know, contender you know, for, for the, you know, for the back. Yeah. Okay, I mean. Okay. Yeah, so. A couple other guys. Oh, there you go. If you swing the camera that way, yeah. you'll see. We're Sounds just picking up a devil. We are just talking about him. We are just talking about him. <laughs> Rough Diesel. We're doing our predictions and previews. So you know Terrence was second place last year. Second place at the Olympia. Definitely, definitely one of the favorites. For sure. He's awesome. He's doing all right. See the shirt? Oh yeah, that's, that's me on a good day. Like once or twice a year. Yeah. That is your pose though. That is your pose. Nobody can hit that pose quite like that. Uh, look at this entourage you guys. It's pretty dope. FBL, everybody seems here. Yeah, yeah. I play. I play. We're live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking cups. It's fun. I know. I can't sleep it out. So, uh, what we have here. Uh, how you feeling? You're, the, you're one of the favorites for damn sure. I feel good. It's a lot of pressure going into the show, but you know, I'm really happy. Um, you know, it was a long road getting here, and we made it, and uh, I think we're looking like the best we've ever looked. So I weighed, weighed in, I weighed in at 179 last year, I weighed in at 173, so that's a good, good, good job for me, being short, short, so. And it's yeah, it's, it's going to be a great rematch between you and Alex, too. I'm excited, and we're good friends, so I'm excited to get back up there with him again. Because it was a very, very close, very close contest last year. Yeah, but he's got one win on me. I got, I got I beat him at the Olympia, so this is round three, round three for us, so I'm excited. Cool. Well, best of luck. We'll see you on stage tomorrow. Uh, uh, you're closing your team. Is this, uh, no, uh, two minutes there, uh, or are you going to get out more? It's an important question, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully they let me go a little bit more. Yes, yeah, that's, what, that's yeah, what I want to, that's what I want to say. I think most of the guys got some numbers from Yes, but are they going to let you or are they going to cut it off? I mean, this is why I, no, it's very really important. If you appeal before, let me stop the music in the middle. Because yeah, no, yeah. we are looking forward to the body with the brain. Mm -hmm. All of us are excited to see it. We had a phenomenal routine and they cut it off. At the time of the mark, yeah. it's like story that is not finished. I think it was a good routine going to let it play. What's the next minute? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of people aren't going to be upset. Like, oh man, I got four for you. Man, it was great. You know what I mean? That's actually a very good answer. If, <laughs> if routine is good, let it go. If not, cut it. <laughs> it's cool. Cut it short. 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 Cut I mean, you know, let's speak about this. How many hours do you spend? What did you do? I spent a lot of hours. I spent like several, several hours. Okay. Like, one, I, I just, this is all. One, I like, I like both anyway. I always respect uh, yeah. the team together for the team. But I can't be. This is the Arnold, so it's even more important than the team. You know, so I uh, have a big stage. Big stage yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of history here. And then a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this show has. Some of the best people in the world. Logan, of course, Courage, Apar, Jerry, Drew. Tons of good guys that maybe not have a bigger name, but yeah. great folks. Yeah. Yeah, are they going to officially let the classic physique be in the Listen, we don't keep rolling your eyes out, I just asked the light. Yeah, so we have a separate one. So it's two, $10,000 for open or so $10,000 for class? Shout out to uh, Philadelphia Productions. Uh, he's been putting together pretty much all the prize money for the classic uh, physique. Best Buzz Awards, they had one um, in, in the 
the show Logan did, right? Yes. Yep. They had one there, they had one he paid for this one, and he's paying for the one in Hawaii. So shout out to uh, Dr. Morales. Yes, and, and what, what, to bring the point, they want to bring back these beautiful things. That's why they encourage you because they have a prize money for the best poser. Terence is doing this uh, probably daily for a couple of hours, practicing, practicing, practicing. It's not the same as uh, most of the open pros. They just come there, do the mandatory stuff. You know, move left and right. It's not exciting. You forgot that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stick it sure. out. And so, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to take that out of the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how we, we don't need to ask really, for applause. We appreciate this, and that's why I, I hope to God I can let you do you know, from the team. Outside the team. And uh, as I have it here, I want to take a moment for John Meadows, a dear friend. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So Danny is also in New York from New York, right? And uh, so Danny is uh, the favorite. So he brings also the uh, classic, but uh, also in you know, a bodybuilder, you know, a bit, uh, not oversized, but it is there. It's a fine line. You know, you can get it. You can get it. Yes. And he has that poser too. Yes. He has this one pose where he puts one arm up. I love it. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, Danny, um, did many of the light poses when right. put me and him, the Barry the May, the Lebrada, and all that He is an analyst. He does the uh, you know, analyst and does the and then uh, put something together. And usually he is super uh, comparative and sometimes he beats us in, all, in our own poses. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. that, I, I think we, we covered everybody, no? We did. So guys, just to let you know when it's all going down, judging tomorrow is at 10 a.m. It's going to be four divisions only in the show this year. It's going to be uh, open body of course, possibly heat, women's bikini and women's fitness. So judging at 10 a.m., finals at 7 p.m. We're going to have all kinds of stuff, all kinds of coverage on this channel, Muscular Development on YouTube. Also, please go to musculardevelopment.com. We're going to be doing play-by-play. -play. I upload a million pictures during the show. Of course, there is a webcast. You can watch it free at arnoldsportsfestival.com. But, you know, I want to give a shout-out to High Tech Pharmaceuticals for sponsoring make it possible for me and my team to be here, bring you guys all the best coverage we possibly can. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. Nice to meet you. Rachel, you guys are ready? How to open? How to open?